Today we're going to make a Game of Thrones drink. The Mance Raider. For this drink, you're going to need an old-fashioned glass, a jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a hawthorn strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses tequila, mezcal, sweet vermouth, orange liqueur, aromatic bitters, orange bitters, and a lemon peel for garnish. This cocktail is deceptive. It's a spirit forward drink with a really surprising flavor profile. At first glance, just judging from the ingredients, I was expecting something a lot stronger. But despite being a cocktail made entirely of booze, it's surprisingly bright, citrusy, and crowd pleasing. The cocktail comes from Eric Castro, the San Diego based bartender, podcaster, and filmmaker who also occasionally creates awesome drinks, like the Full Windsor and the Five Point Palm Exploding Heart Technique. The Mance Raider was created in 2013. In a way, the drink reminds me of Tony Rocky Horror. It's big, flavorful, and complex, but its measurements and ingredients are pretty straightforward. The base is reminiscent of the Oaxaca Old Fashioned, which uses a 3 to 1 split of tequila to mezcal. However, unlike an Old Fashioned, this one drinks a lot lighter and easier. It's disarming for such a boozy drink which makes it compatible for nearly everyone's palate, whether they like strong drinks or not. Castro needed a name befitting of these characteristics, which led him to think of Mance Raider, one of his favorite characters from Game of Thrones, who's also known as the King Beyond the Wall. Mance lived north of the wall that separated the free folk from the Seven Kingdoms. Beyond that wall, there are no serfs or knights or lords or sworn duties, just disparate, often feuding clans. The free folk, facing an existential crisis, were united by Mance to migrate south for the winter. Because unlike birds, free folk weren't allowed beyond the wall, so they had to band together. Alone they would fail, but united they had a fighting chance. The king beyond the wall helped forge that unity. Castro described Mance as strong and to the point, yet charming and sophisticated. He also used those adjectives for this drink. The drink was originally made with Blanco tequila and an orange twist. But the recipe evolved slightly into using reposado tequila and a lemon twist. In a lot of ways, the lemon is the real key to the drink. It's what creates the illusion that the drink isn't as boozy as it actually is. For the base, I made it with a unique tequila that's a blend of both blanco and reposado, which is kind of a compromise between the old formula and the newer one. But feel free to use your favorite flavorful tequila. I like using a smoky mezcal, but not one that's smoky as the biggest fire the North has ever seen. This one has a more even-keeled smokiness and a good balance of vegetal earthiness. Plus the name and branding of this particular mezcal fit the theme of the drink. Castro recommends Carpano Antica for the sweet vermouth and that's usually my go-to, but I had Koki sweet vermouth on hand and it really works well in this one. For the orange liqueur, I find it works best with something on the drier side, but I tend to like things on the dry side. So definitely use the orange liqueur that works for you. This drink appeals to a wide audience, those who like boozy drinks and those who like easygoing drinks, old-fashioned drinkers and tiki drinkers alike. It's strong, but charismatic and appealing to the masses, kind of like its namesake. Let's start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice and set it aside. Next we're going to measure an ounce and a half of tequila, add that to the mixing glass, measure half an ounce of mezcal, add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of sweet vermouth, add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of orange liqueur, add that to the mixing glass. Hit it with two dashes of aromatic bitters and two dashes of orange bitters. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Drop a large hunk of ice into your glass, then strain the contents of your mixing glass over the ice in your old fashioned glass. Cut a white swath of lemon peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your lemon twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there it is. A drink that doesn't kneel for anyone. The Mance Raider. Enjoy. You can support this channel by clicking on the Patreon link here. Check out some more videos, be sure to subscribe, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.